The carbon atoms in our body, they all got made in stars because there were just none of it at the Big Bang. There's only hydrogen and helium. They are stars at the end of their life. But they run out of their fuel and they start to collapse because gravity squashes them. But they collapse to such an extent that there's a region around it where, from which light can't escape. And that's a, so nothing can escape. And that, that's a black hole. Stars are made, galaxies are made, galaxies mature. Some mysterious pressure in the vacuum of space acting opposite the force of gravity, whatever it is, we call it dark energy. So we notice that the universe's expansion rate is increasing. So the universe is accelerating in its expansion. We think that we're in a universe that will continue to expand, essentially doubling in size on a fixed time scale, which is about 20 billion years. So within every 20 billion years into the future, forever, unless something happens, the universe will continue to, to expand and double in size. So if you look at the history of life on Earth, you have microbes around 3.8 billion years ago, pretty much. If you look for evidence of complex life on Earth, then really there isn't any in the fossil record until about 600 million years ago or so. So on this planet, uh, for most of the history of the planet, there was slime. Chemistry gets sufficiently complex that it can store information and copy.
life is absolutely fundamental to understanding the universe. It's only in the last uh, less than a million years that we've had Homo sapiens on Earth. And, and in the last few tens of thousands of years, we've had a civilization. So here, it took pretty much four billion years to go from cell to civilization. And that's a third of the age of the universe. And so that leads many biologists that I speak to uh, to suggest that whilst microbes might be common, civilizations might be rare. Every person we've ever heard of lived somewhere in there. All those kings and battles, migrations and inventions, wars and love, everything in the history books happened here in the last 10 seconds of the cosmic calendar. These are some of the things that hydrogen atoms do given 15 billion years of cosmic evolution.